What's going on everyone? This is Smitty here and in this video guys talking about Madden 19 We got new attribute fields that have that are making their debut in the game here so Just want to dive into it real quick as they touch base on it see now What I like mainly especially with these here when it comes to the route running here See the main thing that I like about this part just off top is because the short, medium, and deep route running. You have the real player movement, you know, um, tech in the game. So that plays a huge role because when we seen player movement tech before, which was Madden 25, it only applied to one player on the field. The RPM tech applies to all 22 players. So it doesn't just apply to just one guy and that's it, you know, or the guy that you're controlling and that's it. It also applies to all the other players around. So this this is a big deal. Now, even though this is year one of it, still, this is the kind of stuff I'm looking forward to seeing this game progressively build out. So you got the short, medium, and deep route running in terms of, you know, um, creating separation when they break on, on routes. And they tell you the specific routes as well. You know, the different uh, routes like slants, digs, you know, your uh, zig routes, things like that. Medium routes, your standard out in routes, um, deep posts, and then play action routes as well when it comes to the deep. So that's this is going to play a role. So once again, these kind of ratings and such, you have to pay attention to when it comes to your players. So I'm greatly appreciating that. Now, run blocking, okay, blocking in space, run block power, establish that play, okay. So, their ability to block from man concept runs such as dive and stretch, etc. Run block finesse, being able to block for zone, basically zone runs, uh, pass block, their ability to block a defender that doesn't use any moves, lead block, Ability of elite blocker to successfully block a defender, fullback, pulling lineman, etc. Okay. Uh, pass blocking. Be um, let me see uh, for power. Ability to block against power move and ability to block against when the, the finesse move respectively. Uh, throwing under pressure. How accurate they are, obviously, when they're pressured by the defense. Um, break sack, how frequently QB will be able to break a sack from an incoming rusher, pass rusher. So, say all that to make this point here, and this is where it's all going to lie. How is it going to translate in regards to gameplay? Because as we've seen over the years, we've seen the, the, the game stumble and fall in various instances with issues when it comes to logic in regards to blocking. So how are we going to see like, you know, as far as AI tangibility, how are we going to see the AI when it comes to the AI? How's it going to translate in terms of the overall gameplay when it comes to, you know what I mean? Like you can have 90 plus overall or whatever in this regard, but is it going to be dictated by the skills or is it going to be dictated by what difficulty you play on? Because you know, there's people that are going to want to play on all Madden whether it's competitive simulation but me personally i'm concerned about the simulation side of the, of the fence so from my perspective from that point that's where my big time concerns lie concern lies not only as far as the numerical ratings but then also when it comes to their skill ratings how is that going to play out like how much sense is it, it you know how much sense is it all going to make in terms of skills the 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 overall numbers you know what I'm saying? In comparison to numbers and as well as player momentum and all that being factored in the physics element. Because like I've made videos in the past about the physical stature needs to take bigger account over just this guy has this rating. So regardless of size, he's always going to be able to get past. No, it shouldn't be that. You know what I mean? If I have a big meaty player, you know what I'm saying? A meaty offensive lineman. And that cornerback is there. He should get detonated whether he's a 55 overall or he's an 85 or a 95 overall. You know what I mean? In terms of lead blocking or what have you. Because the physical stature has to take account in regards to the play. 
So I want to see that mesh between the two and also the logic. I want to see guys, you know, I mean, it's a game at the end of the day. We know it's not going to be perfect, but I want to see a very high level of efficiency when it comes to the pass blocking, the run blocking, and the logic behind it. If the player doesn't see it, that's fine. The, the, the quarterback gets blown up, the run play gets blown up. But if they see it, I want to see it happen. You know, if the player movement, since since it's on all 20, 22 players, I want to see that replicated properly when it comes to the route running. I know, you know, like I said, I'm very confident there's going to be some static animations we're going to see. But at the same time, I want to see the player movement look tangible, be tangible when it comes to what kind of, you know, uh, like how things play out, how plays develop and unfold logically and realistically when it comes to, you know, like I said, on this side of the ball offensively, but definitely on the defensive side as well. So I'm going to end the video here. Just want to give my thoughts on this real quick for you guys. Um, definitely will be back when we see the other ratings and all that stuff. I definitely want to touch on the Lions, you know, and just touch on it in general. But uh, hit that subscribe button. Definitely hit that like button. I greatly appreciate that. And all my links are up above. Social media, you can follow me and get active with me there as well. And until next time, you guys, y'all be safe. Take care. Have yourself a blessed day. Peace out.